What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Seth and we are back again for some more Terraria 1.3 Medusa Head! Blah 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 Before we start today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, I humbly ask you to hadouken the like button It really helps me out and helps support the videos and stuff like that Today we are on the search once again To get our hands on some more of this beautiful chlorophyte Yes, mm, it's deliciously evil Last episode was very exciting though We ended up getting up to what we have right now We got the Medusa head, which I love just pulling it out on special occasions Blah 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 <laughs> and uh, in general too, we also found the spawner for the evil Plantera boss, oh no. But we're not gonna be fighting that boss anytime soon because we wanna get ourselves the armor as well as a couple other things that we do need to prepare, which I am surprised how quickly we're actually gonna be able to get this armor because, oh my goodness, I don't want to open that new. Because, seriously, man, like, we, we already got, like, almost the full set. We just need to craft ourselves some pants, for goodness sakes. So we're not rocking around like a hobo. <laughs> and then, uh, then we'll be set. Then we'll be pretty good. Uh, other than, like, of course, having to construct, like, the proper arena and stuff. Which, the armor right now is a troll. I am rocking it because it is beautiful armor, but it is not good. We, we are actually rocking our spider's armor right now. Which is why things are just dying for no reason, because our spiders keep eating everything. They're a hungry bunch. That they are. Usually, I find two. I've been getting the hang of this. If you find small ore patches, like ones like this, which we can see through the walls, thanks to our beautiful little ally. Uh, small ore patches usually ends up meaning that it is chlorophyte, because... It's such a small, like, area, you know? Like, it's it's always... It doesn't really come in huge quantities. Uh, sometimes it can, but not very often. So, more often than not, I just keep kind of sticking to the smaller areas. We can also get ourselves the life fruits right now, which we got a couple of those, as you can see with our health on the top right. But, I am hoping that we can at least get... Uh, Hopefully up to the next full tier like I'm hoping that we can get full on life fruits Before we end up fighting Plantera Because we're desperately going to need that health man like seriously she otherwise she's gonna just kick our butt Like there is no way we're gonna be able to beat her because I have to tank everything That's pretty much the only way I know how to play this game is by being Overly powerful for everything or just running for our lives in a straight line Which I don't think works on her because she's an underground monster which, technically, I wonder. I wonder if anyone's tried that, actually. Oh, there's some more. I wonder if anyone's tried making, like, a running area underground. Like, would that work? Would you be able to outrun her? Especially if we got our beautiful unicorn, you know? That would be very interesting to see. And if I keep getting my butt kicked by her when we do actually face her, I may actually have to resort to that again. Because that seems to be the cheapest and easiest way to actually beating everything. <laughs> and I, I'm, like, I don't know how to survive otherwise. Anyways, you know what? I know for a fact that there is a bunch of this, uh, Chlorphyte or whatever it's called, underneath the Lizardo Draconis tomb. Because we haven't gone down here in a while. Ha! I need to set up these torches all proper like too. See, there it is. Look, we got a whole bunch. There is so much. It seems to generate very, very well di the deeper you go into the jungle, too. I don't know if that's- Oh, there's a live fruit over there. I see it. It thinks I don't, but I do. Thank goodness. I love how those things actually comment and spawn like quite commonly. The demolition the demolitionist has arrived. Okay, was he dead? I guess somebody ate him. <laughs> Maybe it was the merchant or the guide. That guy's a crazy character where he's like, "Oh, you know, no, please eat this eat him. He's much more plump." <laughs> Just some random story that I got in my head where it's like the guide fed the demolitionist to somebody because otherwise I don't really know what happened. Ooh, get up here, please. There we go. That right there, by the way, ladies and gents, that is the golem summoning thing, which we'll get into all of that way later because I think he might be the next boss after the Plantera, I think. I I'm not exactly sure. 
I, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't really read up that much. Like, I, I'm kind of of the mind. Like, I kind of, that's just kind of how I play this game. Where it's like, I don't research anything, like, I don't research too, too far into the future. At least as far as, like, what we're supposed to do. Until we've cleared up what we're supposed to do first. You know? I, I read up pretty good, like, I'm pretty caught up with most of the gear, that's for darn sure. Oh, yes! Beautiful! And we are above some lava, so we can actually just mine that water out without it destroying any of our torches. Because it sure does like to eat up torches, doesn't it? Let's put this torch up here as well, speaking of which. Get out of here, you weird thorny area! Jeez! Get out of my area! <laughs> what is all this? Give me the stuff! So, we probably... Guaranteed, probably, can get our hands on the next tier of armor, that's for sure. So, we could probably rock our maxed out set of claw fight. Which... The maxed out set gives us some type of a weird little jewel thingamabob. Yes, I noticed that some ore dropped down into the water. Yum! Delicious! <laughs> it's like some green Kool-Aid or something. Oh! What's hitting us? Get out of here! Leave me alone! What's this? What is this? What is this? Really? What is that? Oh, it was a diamond! Well, diamonds are forever. That's why it was hanging out outside the Draconis area. My goodness, so much monies. Yes, please. I still want to get as much of this stuff as we can because we're going to need it. We got to stock up on it, man. Because as soon as we end up getting past Plantera, I want to be able to jump. I want to be able to skip right next to the next tier of gear. That would be very, very nice if we actually had that much chlorophyte, but I know that we definitely will not. We don't need these mushrooms. We don't need them. No, get up there. Why are my skills deteriorating? Jeez. My goodness. Yeah, this area totally looks... <gasps> Another life fruit. Oh, yes. I didn't know that we could actually destroy life fruit spots by, like, just shooting them. So that's pretty handy. That is a lot of chlorophyte. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at all that. It's delicious. <laughs> Give me all the ore, please. I need it, like Gollum needs the ring. Ah! What is all that secret ore inside the area? That's probably nothing, because as far as I know, there's, uh... I think only after the Moon Lord, in fact, might be the only time you can ever dig your way through the Lizardite Rock. Or whatever it's called. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. I I'm not very interested in mining the Lizardite Rock, so I never really looked it up. There's some more? My goodness, we found the mother load, didn't we? Today we got so much of it. We are the, the mining guy. You know. Hey, oh, I'm an old mining specter. <laughs> There's gold. Never mind gold. We need chlorophyte. Give it all to me. It's all mine. You know, we're kind of like the anti-environmentalist. Like, we, we just keep going in here and it's like, whatever it is, it's ours. I don't care if it's part of the environment. I don't care if it has like some type of a uh, meeting, which would explain why Plantera is a gigantic plant that is out for revenge because we keep destroying mommy earth. We're, we're the bad guy in Terraria. That's that hashtag confirmed. Let's dig our way into the stupid water area, which I don't want to release the river. No, please. I need to keep my torches down. All right, let's go get ourselves this next tier of gear. In a minute, anyway, because I think there was a little bit more. Just above this water, I want... Oh, my goodness, so much of it. So much of the... Oh, we can't leave. We're not allowed to leave. Because <laughs> there's so much. Can you please put a torch down? There you go. We need to try and get our hands on more of those heart stones, too, though. Which, it looks like... How many, how many more we need? Oh, no, there goes all our torches. Oh, well. <laughs> that sucks. Where was, where was that other extra piece of ore that I saw over here? Is that any of it? No, that's actually just like gold and treasure and stuff. So never mind, scratch that. Meh. I have most of this area sealed off in terms of the corruption. Or well, crimson, I guess. Any more? I'm also keep, oh my goodness, there's another big pot of it. Jeez. Good, you know what? I am glad that we are getting so much of it so early. 
Because I know that this is going, like, this can potentially be, like, a game breaker. This can potentially be, like, oh, what's that? You want Glorified? Just kidding. You have to start a whole new world now because there wasn't enough. Like, seriously, man. Now, it would be nice if Plantera would drop some. That would be kind of cool. Or maybe just, maybe she just drops another type of ore. There's an heart flute. Heart, heart flute. Yep. <laughs> it's a flute. A flute of hearts. Yes. Come over here. Give me the stuff. And you guys get out of here. Destroy them, my spiderlings. Yes. Oh, we still have two. We didn't even eat the last one. Hum. Hum. Deliciousness. Get out of the way, you vines. You bother me. I set up most of this area. So we could just kind of travel our way up. Oh, there is a lot of the ore up there. Get out of here. Die. Rah. There is a lot up here, right by the entrance, too. That's the entrance, which we get the key from... I don't know. Plan I, I would assume Plantera, because as far as I know, that's the... Like, uh, as far as I know, we gotta beat Plantera to get to the next spot, to get to the next spot. Unless it's dropped from the dungeon, which, by the way, just a side thing off-camera, is we've actually got quite a few of the uh, special, special dungeon chest keys. Because there's a couple dungeon or chests that spawn in the dungeon and they're like they can drop like pretty much only like a couple sets of very unique very special gear and so you need to get a random random key drop from enemies which luckily we were able to get some because pretty much we can actually get the drops from the enemies anytime like seriously so so I'm hoping that we can end up getting uh, a couple more of the resource that we're going to need. Well, a couple more of the keys that we're gonna need. Which, you know what? Looks like... Climb up, please! Why was that tiny little thing in our way? Ha! Is that another heart plan or anything like that? Is this more chlorophyte? No, it isn't. What about this huge batch of stuff? Nope. There's some more up to the north, though. So let's go get this. Kind of... I kind of also gauge the areas that are just pitch dark with areas that we haven't, like, explored properly, which I am sure... I'm just gonna say it now because I know it happens. I I'm sure that there's probably been, like, a couple heart plants that I haven't actually noticed that a viewer probably noticed because that happens quite a lot just with Let's Plays and stuff like that in general because I'm kind of paying attention to only one area. But that said... The good thing about the heart plants is, as far as I know, they just constantly respawn, so it doesn't really matter that much. Because it means that no matter what, we are going to be able to find it. There's that evil Plantera spawning zone. Ugh. Gives me the willies. Scary. Is that a strange plant? Is it? We're full on inventory space, so we can't tell. Dirt. A chillium we don't need. We don't need this stupid die thing. I don't even know what that is. I think that's a fish. Silt is good. We don't need the violet stuff. We don't need mud. We don't need stone. We don't even need the moon glow. We don't need any of this crap. Strange plant. Yeah, there was. Good. Bowser. What is glowing over there? I don't know. I don't know if our weapons activate the uh, boss either, so... Gonna have to be careful. I'm definitely gonna have to set up some type of an arena around here, though. That's for sure. Any of the ore? Any? There's a little bit. I knew there was something down here. I could smell it. <gasps> and a hot plant. I was just about to warp out too. GG. Good. Yes. Give me the life fruit. What is this? Mud block. Garbage. Rah! I love how he eats it like super duper quick. Hello, Mr. Mage. Medusa head. Oh, it's scary. That guy's a wimp. Whoa. Okay. So we are definitely going to be able to craft ourselves up to the next tier of gear. Now, I think... As far as I know, I I'm gonna actually have to double check in two seconds here. Actually, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let me organize our inventory a little bit because I'm gonna read up. I'm pretty sure you need the chlorophyte bars in order to craft like specter bars and stuff like that. I just want to double check. I don't think the game would be that stupid, but I just want to double check. Everything is organized, ladies and gentlemen, and we can finally get ourselves our pants. Bloop. There we go, my goodness gracious. Now we have the next tier of armor that is absolutely awesome. And I want the passive. Yes! 
Hello, Crystal of Destiny, which this also, this armor suits our beautiful jungle wings, if I do say so myself. Absolutely wonderful. Let us put all of this away, which I will swap this over, this over, this over. Meh, meh, meh. Meh, meh, meh. And now we can finally go over to the next tier. Well, next chest anyway, our armor two chest. Uh, I also need to, I think, personally anyway, and yeah, by the way, I did read up. We just need the chlorophyte bars. So we need these like crazy. There is so many different things that we can craft from them. If we combine it with the uh, glowing mushrooms, we can get shroomites, which I was reading up. Uh, there's two things we can get out of shroomite. Not necessarily the armor because it is a melee armor. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But either way, it's an armor that we are definitely going to skip over for specter armor. Now, it can get us the drill containment unit, which costs so many things, like seriously, it's ridiculous. The shroomite digging claw, which apparently is one of the fastest digging tools in the game. And the hoverboard for another flying, like, wings type of thing. At least I think it operates the same as the wings. Maybe it operates more like a hoverboard and we could actually fly with it, but I don't think so, because I think the only flyable thing is uh, different mounts. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yes. There we go. Give me all the money that we can get. Yes, please. I need to also deposit, even though she is beautiful, our beautiful Medusa head. I'm going to throw her in here because she is beautiful, but we don't necessarily need her. And other than that, ladies and gentlemen, there was also, which I don't really want to make it right now. Oh, we can't anyway because I don't have it anymore. There is the jackhammer, which apparently it says that it's lower hammer damage than most of the other hammers but apparently it serves for all your hammer uses because it digs background blocks the fastest in the game as far as i read anyway it could be maybe there's another tier on top of it but the thing that's very exciting but also went by very very quick is the fact that we're already like that's already kind of it ladies and gentlemen my goodness like we're already you know what i'm gonna keep our spider out i think the spiders work much better than those stupid eyeballs like seriously, unless we have the area to fight them in, it's so useless. But anyway, um, we are already, <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness. We're already pretty much ready to fight Plantera. Cause as far as I could tell, wow, that is a very powerful spell. Oh my goodness. I love this armor. Yes, destroy them all. It shoots enemies through walls. Oh, <gasps> yes it does. Oh my goodness. And it's one shotting things. That is going to be very, very powerful. Hopefully, it's going to help us fight uh, Plantera. My goodness. But yeah, so the next thing that I'm going to have to do, because we're already going to be fighting Plantera a lot sooner than I thought, is uh, I'm going to have to set up for a proper arena to fight him in, or her in, whatever you want to call it. It's a plant. Who cares? But I also want to try and get ourselves a bit more of the ore, so we might end up spending at least one more episode just gathering things. We will see. Maybe, maybe we won't. Maybe I'll do most of that off camera because I know that it can be a bit tedious searching for the life plants, especially because they can spawn in areas that we've already just been to. So that makes them a little bit tedious to get. That is for darn sure, which I'm trying to kind of keep my eyes peeled right now. And as far as the chlorophyte, I, I don't know, man. There she is again, Eva. As far as the chlorophyte, I don't know whether or not we're going to end up getting our hands on that much more. Maybe we will, but again, like most of it, oh yes, that is a huge chunk of it. Most of it, I know for a fact, is going to have to be like, we're, we're probably going to have to uh, get a lot of it just off camera and stuff, just because it's going to be a bit more of a tedious ore to get, that's for sure. But seriously, man, I am surprised that it went by so quick. That is, that is actually really, really awesome and exciting because I didn't think, oh, there's a weird mimic girl thing on Bob. Get out of my face. I kill you. I'll eat your face. <laughs> oh, there's a little secret chunk. But I love this glowy thing, man. This glowy ally thing on my Bob. It really helps out for all this stuff. Is that some more secretly on our right? Maybe it is. I didn't end up, uh, huh. I totally forgot to start my timer, so we're probably just going to call this episode very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't think there's that much else we can do. Uh, maybe maybe I'll uh, grind out a little bit more of this ore and stuff off camera, because it kind of gives me something to actually grind. 
Okay, so it phases through walls to attack enemies, but it has to visibly see the enemy in order to even shoot in the first place. And then it can just shoot through the walls. I see, so that's kind of how it works. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. That was kind of weird. I don't know, man. I mean, I have to, I mean, I have to read up on that spell. But either way, this armor is absolutely awesome. I love it. It is great. Now we all the green man. Which I could probably try, I should probably try and look up some different dyes and see whether or not we can get this armor looking even more snazzy, which would be beautiful. But yeah, you know what, ladies and gents? Haunted banner thing. Okay, good. Uh, as far as now is concerned, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call it here for today's episode. Yes, we are. And yeah, I'm going to grind a little bit of this stuff off camera, maybe set up, and maybe we'll fight Plantera in the next episode. Uh, I know that once we defeat Plantera, then we're going to be doing a lot of grinding because she kind of opens up a lot of different stuff that we can actually attain, which is very, very cool because I, I love adventuring. I've said that so much, so much more. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it was a healing plant. That was really weird. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, before all these enemies start giving us trouble, get out of here, you jerk. We are gonna call it here. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, no, I hope you enjoyed this episode, I mean. I... S this is not like the first episode of this series. Easy me. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to grind out, get as much chlorified as we can, hopefully get ourselves the rest of the life bars, and maybe we'll be able to make Tan T Plantera a joke, but otherwise, I don't know. She'll probably give me a lot of trouble, but I'm going to read up strategies and stuff like that before the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit Duke in the like button, share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign on. Stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.